Welcome back to Yahoo Finance Live. Uh, Netflix out with an ambitious plan here, going into overdrive, promising a, a release of a movie every week. Ali Canal is uh, here with that part of the story for us for this week's Fame and Fortune. Uh, Ali, I, I mean, it feels like every time I log into Netflix, there's new content, but a movie a week. Um, what, what specifically are we talking about here? Yes, they are planning to release a new movie every single week in 2021. They already have 71 projects in the pipeline. I do want to highlight a couple of these movies because they do look very, very good. First, uh, we have this movie starring Zendaya and John David Washington, uh, Malcolm and Marie. It's shot in black and white. This was actually filmed in July, probably one of the only films to be shot at the height of this pandemic. Zendaya obviously having her moment in the sun right now after winning an Emmy for her role in Euphoria. So that's certainly one movie I'm going to be tuning in for. And if you thought Zendaya was a big star, wait till you hear about this next movie that Netflix has in the pipeline for 2021. It's called Don't Look Up and stars uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, uh, Jonah Hill. It's from the director that brought us the big short. A lot of A-list movie stars in this one. And this just goes to show how Netflix, it's flexing its muscles when it comes to that star power, both in front of the camera and behind the camera. And I think a big reason for this is because of all that increased competition. For a while there, we just heard about Disney Plus and how well they were doing. But over the past few weeks, HBO Max has really been coming out there and showing us that they have a lot of content coming out in 2021. They announced earlier this week that the Sex and the City re reboot will live on the HBO Max platform. In addition to that, of course, we have the Friends reunion that was supposed to happen in 2020, but was pushed into 2021 due to the pandemic. So I think all of this increased competition is just forcing all of these different platforms to look at the content that they have and try and put out the best product because ultimately content is what drives those viewership. That's what drives those subscriber numbers. We have Netflix reporting earnings next week. As usual, all, all eyes will be on that subscriber growth number, especially since in the third quarter of 2020, Netflix did disappoint there, only nabbing 2.2 million subscribers. This time around, they said they expect right around 6 million. Wall Street forecasts say uh, it should come in around 5.9 million. So that's 6 million number is what investors are going to be looking forward to next week. So we'll have to see how they do. Yeah, and they're going to have to keep pace with the kind of the torrid pace we've seen from Disney Plus in terms of those subscriber numbers and obviously uh, getting paired with them. But as you kind of look across the production space, all of these streamers, as well as studios in general, are dealing with kind of production issues tied back to the pandemic. Obviously, California dealing with quite a, a jump in cases here. So how much is that maybe going to play into the idea that any streaming platform would be able to roll out a movie a week. And that's a big concern here, Zach, because according to Film LA, which is the main film office in Hollywood, film permit applications were down 25% in December compared to November. Only 613 permits were filed. And this includes permits for films, uh, TV shows, uh, commercial shoots, things like that. And SAG after one of the big unions for actors and actresses, actually came out and said that they are discouraging any production restarts due to the fact that coronavirus cases are surging in Southern California. Hospitals are at capacity. It has been very difficult to even get an ambulance. So even a small outbreak could be a huge, huge risk for these actors. So that's something that we're going to be keeping a close eye on. I keep going. I know uh, you were recently in California and you were describing how dire and desperate the situation is as everything is locked down. So if that production restart doesn't happen until February or even even in yeah. March, that could be something that could provide uh, a content backlog, so to speak. So it's something that we'll keep our eye on. But once again, another industry that is just suffering greatly in the hands of this pandemic. Yeah, Ali, on that point, we spoke to uh, the chief medical officer out of L.A. County yesterday who, who made it pretty clear there are internal discussions that are happening right now about additional restrictions that could be coming, although on paper, uh, film shoots are still allowed. I know you'll be watching that one very closely. Thanks so much for that.